Hello and welcome. You are learning AWS and right now our AWS S3 series is going on. As a part of this, in this video we are going to talk about S3 server side encryption. As you are already aware about server side encryption, AWS S3 supports four types of encryption. First, we call it SSE S3, SSE KMS, SSE C and DSSE dash KMS. We will talk about each and every encryption option in step by step video, but in this video, we are going to talk about SSE S3. So, let's start. First of all, I am going to close all these three options. Let's discuss about SSE S3. Here I have four points to understand this particular encryption option. I am going to start with the introduction. AWS S3 handles the encryption and decryption process automatically using AWS managed keys. As you know that keys are playing important role for encryption and decryption. When we are using SSE S3, encryption decryption keys will be managed by AWS itself. As a customer, you don't have any control on encryption keys. SSE S3 can be enabled as a default encryption method for S3 bucket. SSE S3 is a default encryption method because AWS now having a mandatory encryption requirement. When you are using data inside S3, data must be encrypted and default encryption is SSE S3. Let's say that if I am inside the AWS console and if I am going to create any bucket, it's, I'm giving just name my Fox bucket and if you scroll down here you will get this encryption type and the first server side encryption with Amazon S3 managed keys is a default option. So by default all the objects inside this bucket will be encrypted using SSE S3. Let me click on create bucket and here I have this bucket. Now, whenever I will upload any objects inside this bucket, it will have a default encryption SSE S3. Yes, if I want to change this, I can change this as object level as well. Let's understand this practically. So, right now I am inside this bucket and I am going to upload this. This bucket is using default encryption. So, let me click on add file. I am just going to upload one PDF file. Now, if you go to the deep destination details here you will find out the default encryption type it is server side encryption with amazon s3 right so this is a default encryption type let me click on upload now if you want to change encryption time types for a specific object you can do this so in order to do this you have to go to the object then in the properties you can scroll down and you can click on server side encryption and look at this here we have this option override the bucket setting for the default encryption I don't want this default encryption for this specific object so I can change it and I can choose any other encryption options as well so first of all we need to understand this is a default encryption for a bucket but for a specific object if you want to change it you can now the biggest advantage of SSE S3 is there are no additional charges for using SSE S3 encryption. The cost is included in the standard S3 pricing for storage and request. Okay. So this is like a very easy basic level of encryption provided by default from AWS S3. Now let's understand how it works. When you upload data to S3, Amazon automatically encrypted using AES-256 encryption algorithm. During a video of keys, I already explained you that the most secure encryption is AES-256. AWS S3 is actually supporting this and the whole process is actually transparent to user. Right now, I have this object. This object is now encrypted stored inside this S3 bucket. But this process is totally transparent to me. If I am going to open this particular object, it will open this. So decryption will happen automatically and 
it will take some time yes there is a little latency but the whole process is transparent to the user we don't need to worry about keys key on it or anything the whole process is very smooth and clear now it is a free it's very transparent process but it is coming with some of the limitations there are many limitations for SSE S3 and that's why we are using other options. So let's understand limitation of SSE S3. The first limitation we have is limited key management flexibilities. As you know that keys are playing important role for the encryption and decryption. When we are using SSE S3, we don't have any control on key. We don't have flexibility to manage keys for our objects and this is the most prob biggest problem with with SSE S3 so let's understand this with SSE S3 you don't have control over encryption keys AWS manage the keys which means you cannot rotate disable or revoke the keys manually rotate is, rotation of the key is the most important part of the security best practices and when you are using uh, SSE S3 you don't have this flexibility to rotate your key even you cannot disable this or you cannot revoke this key from the specific user if you require a if you require custom keys management policies SSE S3 may not be suitable and as you know that that's why we have other options available the another biggest problem we have with the SSE S3 is lack of detail audit logs while SSE S3 provide basic encryptions it does not offer detailed logging and audit capabilities. If you need to track key usage or access pattern, SSE S3 might not meet the compliance requirement. You cannot track your keys. It means you don't know that when and where your key has been used. Some regulatory standards require strict control over encryption keys, including ability to manage, audit, and rotate the keys. SSE S3 may not fulfill the requirement. Free options available, but it is for the basic level. If you have some compliance requirement in which you want a audit or you want to track your key usage, this option cannot fulfill this requirement. No customer managed key integration. If you have your own key that you want to use with the encryption, you cannot do this. Yes, we will talk about this in upcoming videos and we will go for the third option we have for the encryption in which we can set up our own means customer provided keys as well. And the last one, compatibility with the certain features. Some advanced S3 features or third-party tools might have limited compatibility with SSE S3. If you are using advanced uh, security tools or if you have some compliance requirement, it may not fulfill your requirement. It is essential to verify all required tools and server support SSE 3 encryption. So whatever the tools that you are going to use with this storage system, with this encryption must support it and S3, uh, SSE S3 having some limitations as well. So these are the limitations as well. That's why we have other options that we will talk about in upcoming videos. But fourth option is a use case. If you have a basic requirement of encryption without managing encryption key, if you want the most easiest way to manage encryption, this would be your choice. Yes. For other requirements, definitely we will talk about upcoming uh, encryption methodology as well. But for this, you have to wait for one day. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.